challenges for new football season, officials to crack down on dissent, be more lenient on physical challenges and add on wasted time. Premier League and EFL officials will add World Cup-style amounts of injury time to matches as part of directives for new season. A higher threshold for contact between players will be applied, players will be booked for crowding a referee and managers must stay in their technical area. A crackdown on time-wasting and dissent as well as a much stricter policing of the bench and technical areas are at the heart of new refereeing guidelines that will be in force for the start of the football season. From the first championship game on Friday, which sees Sheffield Wednesday take on Southampton Live on Sky Sports added minutes at the end of EFL and Premier League matches are now expected to frequently run into double digits. As they did at the last World Cup in Qatar. One match official has told Sky Sports News it will now be a rarity if a top flight game lasts less than 100 minutes. More accurate game time. Officials have become increasingly concerned with statistics that show how little the ball has been in play in professional matches in England, with averages last season of just 48 minutes in League 2, 50 minutes in League 1, 52 minutes in the Championship and just under 55 minutes in the Premier League. More time will be added on two for goal celebrations, which officials feel have become lengthier and more elaborate. Referees will now be obliged to specifically time how long the game is stopped before the restart for game interruptions, such as a goal, a substitution, injury, or preparations for a free kick. In further attempts to speed up play, the EFL will now have the multiball system for all matches, as is already the case in the Premier League. Elsewhere, referees will be tasked with being more robust in penalizing clear and impactful actions that waste time those that differ from the obvious act of kicking the ball away. EFL and Premier League football will now bear much more resemblance to the Qatar World Cup, where England vs Iran had 24 minutes of added time and the game lasted a total of 117 minutes. There were, however, two concussion-related injuries, eight goals and ten substitutions in the 90 minutes. Leniency on physical challenges. On the pitch, as an attempt to allow the game to flow better and reduce stoppages. A higher threshold will be applied to contact between players, meaning there should be fewer free kicks awarded for incidents which last season might well have been penalized for being overly physical. However, as per the existing referee guidelines, any challenge deemed careless will be deemed a foul, any which are reckless will receive a yellow card, and any player who endangers the safety of an opponent will be sent off. Descent The threshold for a player to be shown a yellow card for descent will be reduced this season. Whenever more than one player approaches the referee, at least one of those players, and potentially more, will be shown an automatic yellow card. Practically, any player that runs from a distance to approach the match officials will be booked. Policing the technical area. The behavior of managers and their backroom staff will come under greater scrutiny, with an automatic yellow card if there is ever more than one coach in the technical area. And harsher penalties for managers that leave their technical area. Aggression from coaches, towards match officials or opponents, will be routinely met with a red card and any club official sent off will no longer be allowed to watch the game from the stands. Instead, they must be out of sight of the pitch. Points deductions and body cams FA to crack down on grassroots poor behavior. Repeated offenses against referees and other unacceptable behavior in the grassroots game. We'll see teams deducted points from their league tally in the coming season. The measures are part of the new participants' charter which has been created jointly by the Premier League, FA, EFL, Women's Super League and Championship, the National League, PFA, LMA, and PGMOL. It comes as the FA extends its trial of the use of body cams for grassroots referees for season 2023-24 to try to combat poor behavior in the amateur game. Referees Chief Howard Webb says standards of behavior at all levels have been allowed to decline over a period of many years. This has had knock-on effects, Webb says. We've seen copycat behavior at grassroots levels. And that's resulted in people either quitting as referees or not choosing to take up the whistle. 
The body cams were introduced in four areas in January, Middlesbrough North Riding. Liverpool, Essex and Worcestershire, with referees reporting marked improvements in player and fan behaviour. The cameras are the size of a matchbox, and while they are powered on for the full 90 minutes, they are only turned to record if the referee feels threatened or becomes aware of abuse or violence on the pitch. The camera settings mean that, once the record button is pressed, it also saves the previous 30 seconds of action. We were the first county in the country to go live with it, in February, Ross Joyce from North Riding FA told Sky Sports News. It's been great. We've had a real buy-in from not just the referees, but the clubs, players and leagues. We are 110 games in now, and the results have been really positive. The FA say that the cameras have been the perfect deterrent, because no referee who has worn one has yet felt the need to activate the camera and record any incidents. The key things for us is that referees feel safer, Joyce says. They have that safety net, should they feel they need it. We have had no activations of the body cams, because there has been no significant behavior, threats or assaults towards officials that would suggest that they have worked. For example, I was at a game where a penalty wasn't given, one of the players was heading towards the referee to give some verbals, but his teammate said to him hey, he's got a camera on, and the player walked away. So I think there's been a lot of de-escalation of incidents in that sense. Body cam footage is expected to provide key evidence, if the FA is to bring charges against individual players or clubs for repeated bad behavior. Point deductions will apply to clubs at step 7 and below of the men's game, and clubs across tier 3 and below in the women's pyramid, which commit cumulative incidents of serious misconduct, such as acts of discrimination and assault or attempted assault, physical contact or attempted physical contact against a match official. Deductions will range from 3 to 12 points depending on the number of breaches within 12 months of the team's first offense and severity of the case s. Thanks for your watching, don't forget to click the subscribed button and hit the bell icon for more.